so here we are. There's the great eye in the sky, CBS, Television City, Los Angeles. Being fascinated by virtually all human endeavors, I wanted to see what it was that made the fans of television's longest running game show so passionate. Hello, uh, Sandy Utah. Utah. Sandy Utah. Hickley Utah. Get <laughs> Ringo, Georgia, just to meet Bob Parker. Really? So, you know, like a long way? Oh, yes. Just to meet Bob? Yes. What is it about Bob? You like older men? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> that would work. Do that again, that thing you do with your eyes. <laughs> Did you see that? Hi. <laughs> hey. Okay, this is what it would be like if I was coming on down. And, uh, of course, the, the audience is going wild. <laughs> And uh, this is what it's like if you sit behind these mics. 350, please, Bob. I'm Rod Roddy with The Price is Right, and you're watching The Fluid Television Show. Feel me flow. <laughs> Get in. Great. Good luck, everyone. Now, it was obvious that everyone was here to have fun. But the possibilities of actually becoming a contestant on The Price is Right are even more inspiring. I followed the audience through the selection process. Now, after you open the seconds, I got a special treat waiting for everybody. Or even better than those benches. Okay. No, they're not padded. <laughs> because on these benches, you've got to remain absolutely quiet while you're waiting over there. Those benches are right next door to where Phil is doing the interviews. Today, producer Philip Wayne Rossi conducts a sort of stand-up audition of everyone in the line to establish each person's viability. The decision is made right here, and the connection between the producer and his scribe is a subtle system which seems telepathic. What have you been doing? I'm looking for a job right now. We wish you luck. Thank you very much. I'm from Bellwood, Illinois, and I drive the bus for Chicago Transit Authority, and I've been trying to get on the price of life for five years. My name is uh, Roger Dopkowitz, and I'm one of the uh, producers of The uh, Price is Right. And you're one of the people who decides who is going to be a contestant from the great, en enormous throng outside. That's that. That I do. Uh, Phil, Phil Wayne Rossi and I, we go out on the line, we pick uh, the nine contestants to run on down every day. We talked to about 320 people right before the show. We're looking for nine people to put on the show. And we're looking for people ready to have a good time that are just on the edge of excitement. We'd like to catch them at that moment of excitement as they play along with us. Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm a mom, and I'm a sock poker. I can't hardly stand it. What are the, the uh, criteria? Well, we look, you know, we want people to be themselves. But we're looking for enthusiastic people, and we're looking for people who are in a good mood, happy to be here, and out to have some fun. Hey, we can catch those people that are faking their enthusiasm. <laughs> we have ways. We have, there is somebody that's faking it right now. Yes, <laughs> he's never enthusiastic. Yeah. No. <laughs> So we can catch you guys, you know, don't fake, just be yourselves, come on down, be yourself. Hey, Alicia, what have you been up to? Oh, uh, I've been up to no good. Now, I noticed that you and your assistant had this sort of telepathic link via the mothership. Um, would you like to let us in on that? Nope. That's Big what I secret. thought you'd say. <laughs> but uh, I do manage to communicate to my uh, assistant, who will write down uh, who I'm talking to, what we're talking about, how they're dressed, their name, their number. And I'll then consider these folks uh, after mm. I've done all my interviews. And we probably queue... Hmm, 50 or 60 people on any one line that really have all the energies we're looking for. Who is thinking that they're going to be a contestant? <laughs> now, uh, why do you think you will? <laughs> because I love Bob Barker and the price is right. So because you love him. And of those 50 or 60, I'm looking for the nine most interesting, most involved, most party-like folks we can find. What are you not looking for? Folks who just want to come in and sit down and watch the show and not want to play with us. I'd like to encourage people probably not to wear costumes or funny shirts or anything. I'm, they're pretty much perfect the way they are. We don't pick people because of t-shirts. Why is a show like this so popular? Well, 
Who knows, really? Yeah. But we have theories. Uh, our theory is basically our, our show is based on a premise, which is basic to everybody. How much is something? How much is that? That's a, that's a fun thing. We do that all the time. Uh -huh. And, of course, we have Bob Barker, our wonderful host, who is, you know, he's either your best friend or father figure or, you know, whatever. He's just a marvelous person. And uh, we have great games on the show. Sure. And, uh, and me. I've been here since the beginning. <laughs> that's what it is. Yes. The sense of backstage teamwork, even family was becoming readily apparent. It was then I met another very important part of this show's family. The powerful voice of Rod Roddy and his magic words come on down have cast a spell on millions for over 14 years. Right in my nose, no, thank that, you very that, much. That really is I'm quite, glad I did makeup, thank you. Yeah, that really is quite an outfit. Uh, how much power does it use? Power? Well, yeah. this is without the batteries right now. You're seeing it's, it's not very powerful in the dark, but uh, in the right light it can blind you. <laughs> You're actually like your own planetary system right well, now. Well, let's hope so. If I stand in the middle of a ballroom in Revol, people dance. Let's put it that way. Now, you obviously have the, a fabulous voice. Uh, when did this start to develop? I was about three. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mother. You know, I, enjoyed, I, I realized that I had a voice when I was about nine and I was, uh, I got started calling bingo games. Ah. Not, for the order of the Eastern Star bingo games. Yes. And uh, then I became a microphone hog and I've been whatever since. Yeah, you, make, you make everything sound sort of edible. Well, it is. All these prizes are delicious. <laughs> Don't you think? In addition to what is obvious to viewers, his role also includes that of the critical pre-show audience warm-up which he assumes with great style, warmth, and skill. Hey, hello. How are you? It's dark back here, isn't it? Yeah. We'll get the lights on in a few minutes. Can you see me? I can see you. It's one of those things that does it in the dark? It, almost. Oh, wonderful. You're just a bright personality, sir. you got to watch out for those things and do it in the dark. You know? <laughs> Okay, they're all wild out there, but I'm going to see what I can do to stir them up even more. You know? All right. It's my job. You, you know are what I'm the, saying? the professional stirrer. Yeah, I'm going to stir a little bit here in just a moment. You'll see. Yeah, da, 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 da. I love show business, don't you? Absolutely. It's wonderful. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Here we go. Ba, ba, ba. This is the greatest job on television. What is it that you think about when you're out there? When I'm out there, I 
just think about how wonderful it is just to be here, how wonderful the people are and uh, how exciting it is. And I just love it. I love being on stage. I love entertaining. It's just me. Well, I can see because, you know, often you, you're mouthing words and so on uh, to the audience and often blowing kisses and stuff. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's Always mouthing off. That's me. Whether <laughs> they can hear me or not. <laughs> well, what, what kind of the things did you ever think you would be doing? Did you think you'd be well, doing actually, it? Actually, I'm a singer. I'm an entertainer. Oh, really? and I, I'm with a singing group as well that I was with many years ago. And we're back together again called The Love Machine. Uh -huh. And we've traveled all over Europe. And we're going, going to probably get a record deal real soon. But as long as I'm here on the show, this is something that I'm enjoy, I enjoy doing. Yeah. Also, I've acted. I've been in several movies and commercials. And just the whole entertainment realm. Everything. You name it. Done it. Been there. Now, when you're, I guess, driving in your car, unless, of course, you have a chauffeur, um, People take a second glance. There's yeah. that girl. Mm -hmm. They do. Uh, not so much in the car as they do in the grocery store. Oh, yeah. Or if I'm getting my nails or my hair done or out somewhere shopping, basically. They'll nudge each other like, I can I can see them in the corner of my eyes like, that's her, that's her, that's her. That's her. And then usually somebody in that group will come up and say, aren't you that lady on the Price is Right? <laughs> I told you, Mom, I told you that's that lady on the Price is Right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kathleen. You're welcome. Thank Absolutely. you. Piece of cake. Oh. Good. <laughs> so one of your many talents. <laughs> one of my many talents is not playing the trumpet. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. What, is, what are we laughing about? Well, I was, I was supposedly playing the trumpet. And then I thought it was finished, so I stopped, and then the sound effect kept going on my ears, and then I couldn't even put my mouth on it to blow it, because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> We love the contestants. We love working with Bob. So it is like a family. Now, you know, a lot of times when you have a, a, a three beautiful women together, um, there could be some friction. It looks like that isn't the case. It isn't. No, not at all. Um, You're not competitive? Not at all. No. We help each other out. We're, we're friends. Bye. Okay. we got to go do a pie. So okay. We're going to be late. I think <laughs> where are we? Oh. <laughs> Hi, love. There's a lot of pandemonium going on. Everyone seems to be having a heck of a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun happening back a here. A lot of fun. We laugh. That's that's primarily our job is to laugh every day. I think the audience really makes a lot of energy in the studio. Sure. Right. And we we end up watching the monitor and just screaming for the contestants. Yeah. We want them it's to really, win as well. It's great to see people win. I wasn't even thinking of a price of a car. I just saw numbers in front of me. Um, well, I got twenty thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and I got to shake hands with Bob Barker. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to thank you very much for coming to our show. You have been a delightful audience. We hope you've enjoyed your visit to the Price in Right. Anything else you'd like to add? That's about it. Just uh, come on down. Come on down.